Hey, this is Rob, founder of Coifin. We just released a new function called Custom Formulas, which allows you to perform mathematical operators on the financial data that's already in our system, and then view it in watch lists and dashboards. Let me show you how it works. To use custom formulas, you need to go to your watch lists or dashboards. So let me select my dashboard here, which has my main watch list. And in this watch list, I have a view selected. Right now, the view that I have selected has a bunch of columns that I've chosen, and I've, ch I've saved this view as a template. This is my standard template. And so when I choose my standard template, these are the columns. Let's say I wanted to, instead of seeing the growth rate for the next three years, fiscal year one, two, and three, let's say that I wanted to calculate the growth rate difference between the third fiscal year growth rate and the second fiscal year growth rate. So basically seeing where companies are accelerating and decelerating. So the way that I would do that is I'd go to columns, I would go to custom formulas and columns. I would select formula here. I would name my formula. So here I would name it FY3 minus FY2. I would add the data series that I want. So here I would add the two data series that I want to perform the calculation on. So for example, um, it would be forward year EPS growth, which is right here. And then I would add another data series, which is forward rate Then once I have the formulas here, which is uh, th third year growth and second year growth, I would set up my expression here. So I would do A minus B. Um, then I would select the display format or how I want the number to display it. Uh, if you select auto, just automatically figure out how to display it. But I'll select here basis points, which will select the formula and basis points, and then create column. And now once I have this column, I can then add it to my view and then I've added it. And now I could actually see where growth is accelerating or decelerating. So for example, for Apple, growth is decelerating uh, 154 basis points from the second to third year. But for a company like Microsoft, growth is actually accelerating. And then I could sort by this column as well. Um, another example of a custom formula that you can do is, let's say I wanted to look at cash as a percentage of market cap so let me create that column i would look at a formula here i would call it cash versus market cap i would add my two data series which is uh, cash and cash equivalents as one and then the second data series would be market cap and then i would again do a divided by b and I may want to show that as a percentage uh, because it's a ratio. Let me do that. I would create that and I could add that to my list as well. And now for my companies, I'll be able to see what the percentage is of uh, cash divided by the market cap. Uh, and I see here for certain companies uh, like Digital o uh, Ocean and InvestNet, that's a, a fairly substantial portion uh, of their market cap. And don't forget, once you have these columns, you would need to save that or uh, go to your template and you could save that as one of your current templates to make sure that it remembers it uh, for the future. So here I would save it as my standard template so that anytime I pull up my standard template, uh, it has these columns uh, in it already. So those are custom formulas. Uh, I hope that's helpful for you to really uh, take advantage of the financial data on our platform and further customize it to how you want to use it. Thank you. Please reach out with any feedback.